Over the course of ancient Roman civilization, religion evolved from a homegrown animism to a complex system of gods and goddesses, including those adopted from the Greeks and foreign cults. The Romans even practiced emperor worship before eventually embracing Christianity. Although the ancient Romans were deeply religious, their approach to spirituality was different from that of modern believers. They held a pervasive concept of divinity, which referred to an all-encompassing spirituality present in all aspects of life. However, for the Romans, success in life was often associated with having a positive relationship with the gods and goddesses. This involved a combination of mystical prayer and practical sacrifices offered in exchange for material benefit. Jupiter, known as the supreme king of the gods, was the Roman god of the sky and thunder. He was also the patron god of Rome. Jupiter was the son of Saturn and the brother of Neptune, Pluto, and Juno, who he married. Saturn had been warned that one of his children would overthrow him, and so he began swallowing his children. However, Jupiter and his siblings were eventually released by their mother Opis and overthrew their father. The three brothers divided the control of the world, and Jupiter took control of the sky. He was a powerful deity and was associated with justice, wisdom, and the protection of the Roman state. Juno was a powerful goddess in Roman mythology and the queen of the gods and goddesses. She was the daughter of Saturn and the wife and sister of Jupiter, making her a significant figure in the Roman pantheon. As the patron goddess of Rome, she had several epithets, including Juno Suspita, the protector of women in childbirth, and Juno Moneta, the guardian of Rome's funds. The temple of Juno Moneta was the site where the first Roman coins were said to have been minted, and the word money is derived from her name. She was also associated with marriage and fertility, and her festival, the Matronalia, was celebrated in March to honor her. Juno was considered a powerful deity, and the Romans believed that she had the power to influence their fate and destiny. Minerva is the Roman goddess of wisdom, arts, trade, and strategy. She was born fully grown and armored from the head of Jupiter, after he swallowed her mother Metis to avoid being overthrown by their child. Metis had been creating weapons and armor for Minerva inside Jupiter, causing him discomfort. When Jupiter demanded that his head be split open to end the noise, Minerva emerged fully formed. She was often associated with the owl, a symbol of wisdom, and was the patron goddess of craftspeople and artisans. Minerva was also known as Athena in Greek mythology, and her influence can be seen in the architecture and artwork of ancient Rome. Neptune, the Roman god of fresh water and the sea, was known to be the brother of Jupiter, Pluto, and Juno. Besides his association with the sea, he was also considered the god of earthquakes, hurricanes, and horses. He was often depicted holding a trident and riding a chariot pulled by horses, while dolphins, fish, and other sea creatures accompanied him. In Roman mythology, he was regarded as a powerful and feared deity, who could cause both destruction and good fortune to seafarers and coastal communities. In addition to his role as a protector of the sea and its inhabitants, he was also believed to have healing powers and was worshipped as a god of medicine. Venus was also associated with gardens, flowers, and springtime, as well as with the planet Venus, which was named after her. She was often depicted in art as a beautiful woman surrounded by cherubs or putty, and was a popular subject for Roman artists. In addition to her relationships with Vulcan and Mars, Venus was also believed to have had many other romantic affairs, including with Adonis and Anchises. She was highly revered in Roman society, and her influence can be seen in many aspects of Roman culture, including art, literature, and religion. Mars was one of the most important gods in the Roman pantheon, serving as the patron of war and agriculture. He was often portrayed as a muscular, helmeted warrior wielding a spear and shield. 
Mars was also associated with masculinity and virility and was worshipped as the god of fertility. He was believed to be the father of Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of Rome, and was the lover of Venus in their infamous adulterous affair. According to Ovid's version of the myth, Mars was conceived by Juno alone as an act of revenge against Jupiter, who had previously given birth to Minerva from his head without a mother. Apollo was also the god of poetry, prophecy, and knowledge, and was associated with the sun. He was often depicted holding a lyre or bow and arrow, and his symbols included the laurel wreath and the tripod. The oracle at Delphi was sacred to Apollo and was consulted by many seeking advice and guidance. Apollo was also credited with killing the giant serpent Python and founding the city of Delphi. His cult was widespread throughout the ancient world, and many temples were dedicated to him, including the famous temple of Apollo in Greece. Diana was also known as the goddess of chastity, virginity, and women. As a virgin goddess, she was often associated with young girls and unmarried women. Diana was also linked to the wilderness and was considered the protector of animals, especially deer. In Roman mythology, Diana was often depicted carrying a bow and arrow and dressed in a short tunic with a crescent moon on her forehead. Her temple on the Aventine Hill in Rome was one of the most important sanctuaries in the city. The festival of Nemoralia, celebrated in honor of Diana, was held in August and involved the lighting of torches and a procession to the goddess's sanctuary at Lake Nemi. Vulcan was also associated with the god of the hearth and home, and was believed to protect Roman homes and families from fire. The Romans also believed that Vulcan was responsible for earthquakes, which they believed were caused by his forging deep underground. In addition to his forge under Mount Etna, he was also believed to have a workshop on the island of Lemnos. The Romans celebrated Vulcan with a festival called the Vulcanalia on August 23 during which they made offerings to him and extinguished fires in their homes before relighting them from a communal sacred fire. Vesta was considered one of the most important Roman deities, as she was the goddess of the hearth and home. She was also the keeper of the sacred fire that was tended to by the Vestal Virgins. The Vestal Virgins were a group of women who were chosen to serve as Rome's only full-time priesthood. They were responsible for keeping the sacred fire burning at all times, and if the fire were to go out, it was considered a bad omen for Rome. Vesta was the daughter of Saturn and Ops, and the sister of Jupiter, Juno, Neptune, and Pluto. Mercury was also considered the god of messages and messengers, making him an important figure in Roman religion and daily life. He was worshipped as the patron of merchants, travelers, and even gamblers, and his festivals were celebrated with feasting, games, and theatrical performances. In addition to his role as a psychopomp, Mercury was also believed to be a protector of travelers and guide of souls on their journey through life. His cleverness and quick wit were often invoked by those seeking good fortune in business or communication. Ceres was also known as the patron goddess of common people and had a close association with the plebeian class. She had her own festival, Cerealia, which was held annually in April and involved the offering of milk and grains to the goddess. The worship of Ceres was particularly significant during times of famine, as she was seen as the bringer of bountiful harvests. In art, Ceres is often depicted holding a sheaf of wheat and wearing a crown of wheat ears. There you have it. We hope you liked our video about Roman gods and goddesses, and if you want more videos like this, please go see our channel and subscribe to see our lineup of interesting topics. Thanks for watching.